Okay, we are at section uh, uh, 11.2, uh, analysis model, uh, non-isolated system, angular momentum of a non-isolated system. Uh, so let's look at the figure and let's imagine a, an ice skater uh, headed towards the pole, not directly towards the pole, but offset a little bit. Uh, uh, and as she passes the pole, she reaches out her hand and she starts going around the pole. You can imagine like a, uh, uh, she's turned her linear momentum. She had linear momentum. She had MV. Now she's turned it into angular momentum. Uh, so we, we're going to study the processes that, that go into converting her linear momentum to angular momentum. <clears throat> so let's look at the, uh, uh, you can see that she has a linear moment, the, the, the green arrow on the, on the bottom uh, towards the right is her linear momentum and the R is the uh, radius that she's, uh, uh, that she's out. So um, the, some of the forces is equal to the change in momentum, dp dt. Uh, so the uh, some of the forces uh, uh, force causes a change in momentum, and we'll see that um, torque. The sum of the torques causes a change in angular momentum, but we're not quite there yet. So we look at the <coughs> excuse me, a change of the, um, the the sum of the forces causes a change in angular momentum and so um, R cross F which is a torque R cross the sum of the forces is equal to the torque the sum of the torques and that's equal to R cross uh, dp dt um, uh, the, the change in momentum uh, so uh, the uh, we learned about uh, DDT of A cross B was uh, uh, DADT cross B plus A cross uh, uh, DBDT. And we're using that here. So DR uh, DT cross P plus R cross DPDT. But um, what is DRDT? Well, DRDT is the velocity. Uh, and her velocity, it, you know, uh, momentum is equal to mv. So mv is the, I mean, the v is the velocity. So the uh, drdt, the velocity, and p are in the same direction. So they're parallel. So drdt cross p is equal to zero. And so that just leaves you r cross dpdt. And I think they're showing you here. Uh, dr dt cross p equals to zero, so that just leaves uh, dd ddt of r cross p equals to r cross dp dt. Now that's not an identity; that's just how it ends up because the dr dt cross p equals zero. Uh, so the sum of the torques causes the change in linear momentum. R cross p is the linear momentum. So the sum of the torques equals to the change in linear momentum, uh, d r cross p dt. Um, okay, so the instantaneous angular momentum, uh, the instantaneous angular momentum l of a particle relative to an axis through ch through a chosen origin r o, is defined by the <coughs> excuse me is defined by the cross product of the particle's instantaneous position vector r relative to that origin and its instantaneous linear momentum p. So the angular momentum is equal to r cross p. Um, so let's look, uh, you can see the angular momentum l of a particle about an axis is a vector perpendicular to both the particle's position r relative to the axis and its momentum p. So the sum of the torques equals dl dt. Uh, the sum of the torques cause a change in momentum, um, just like the sum of the forces causes a change in linear momentum. So the sum of the torques cause a change in angular momentum. The sum of the forces cause a change in linear momentum. Now, um, so 
the uh, since momentum is um, mv, uh, the uh, l is equal to mvr sine of phi. Uh, and uh, if R is parallel to P, then L equals zero. If, if uh, you know, if, so if, if she, I'm gonna give it away now, if she were headed straight to the, uh, the pole, uh, she, her momentum would have been in line with uh, R, <clears throat> and that would have been zero. Now, if R and P are perpendicular, then the sine phi, the sine of 90 equals one, and it's just MVR. Uh, okay, so a skater of mass M glides directly toward a pole with speed V. What is her angular momentum relative to the pole at the instant she is a distance D from the pole? Is it zero, MVD, or is it impossible to determine? Well, since her, uh, her radial vector is in line with her uh, velocity, her, um, it's equal to zero. Uh, now, let's look. A skater of mass m glides at speed v along a straight path that is offset by a perpendicular distance a from a pole. Perpendicular distance a. That's a key word, perpendicular. What is your angular momentum relative to the pole? Zero, MVD, MVA, or impossible to determine? It's MVA. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we just saw that here. If R is perpendicular to uh, the momentum, then L, the linear momentum, I mean the angular momentum is MVR, in this case, MVA uh, in this case. Okay, um, the angular momentum of a system of particles is the, the sum of the forces is equal to the um, DDT of the total momentum, uh, P total. So that's uh, L1 plus L2 plus all the way to LN. So it's equal to the sum of all the LIs. Um, so the DDT of L total equals uh, DLDT of each individual momentum equals the sum of all the torques. Uh, so the sum of the external torques equals DDT of the uh, total angular momentum, just like the sum of the forces equals DDT of the total linear momentum. The integral of um, the integral of uh, the sum of the torque, the external torques, dt, is equal to uh, delta, the change in total angular momentum. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so it's equal to the change in the, the total momentum. Uh, okay, so let's look at, uh, if, if, when you have an external torque, the rate of change in the angular momentum of the non-isolated system is equal to the net external torque on the system. Um, so that, you know, we can see several exa examples. You imagine a system that rotates about an axis. So there's an, a net external torque acting on the system. The time rate of change of the angular momentum of the system is equal to the net external torque. Um, the uh, the the change of the angular momentum dl dt is equal to the sum of the external torques. Uh, examples are a flywheel in an automobile engine increases its angular momentum when the in, the engine applies torque to it. <clears throat> the tub of a washing machine decreases in angular momentum due to frictional torque uh, when the, after the machine is turned off. Uh, the axis of the Earth undergoes a precessional motion due to the torque exerted on the Earth by the gravita gravitational force from the Sun. And the armature of a motor increases its angular momentum due to the torque exerted by the a surrounding magnetic field. Um, and that's it for this section. Uh, we'll go on with, with section 11.3 in the next, uh, the next one.